Today we are going to build this beautiful free flight plane, which you can throw it with your hand or you can make it rubber powered. We are going to use balsa wood to make it, but it's going to be really easy. Let's start. Of course everything starts with the idea, but then I have to draw it somewhere to turn it into something real. This idea is inspired on other designs of indoor free flight airplanes. Although this is very similar to the ones I saw on the internet, I had to draw it from scratch. And it is very, very simple. And after finishing the plans, I printed it to start working on it. This is the first version of the plans, but the ones that are available for download are going to be even better, with more information. I cut out the airfoil shape from the plans to use it as a template to start cutting out several pieces from the balsa wood. All the measurements are detailed on the plans. You have to be very careful and patient because these pieces are very fragile. For the rest of the process we are going to use some non-stick baking paper on top of the plants to start gluing the pieces. Underneath the plants I recommend placing a foam board sheet so we can stick some pins on it. The rest of the process is very straightforward. The glue I'm using is CA or also known as super glue with a kicker or accelerator that makes it dry very quick. The glue I recommend for this application is the Universal UHU or a similar one or even normal glue for wood because they have some flexibility to it. Once the structure of the wing is finished, handle it with care because it could be very fragile. I'm going to glue the two wings together and finish the rest of the parts. The fuselage is the simplest part of the airplane. It's simply two 3mm balsa woods glued together. And now is the interesting part. I'm going to use some tissue to cover the surfaces. But this is not normal tissue. This is a special for covering model airplanes. In the description below you will find all the links that will take you to all the products that I will use. 
If for any reason you can find or buy this kind of paper, you can use other alternatives like plastic, but the result is going to be different. I'm using diluted glue with 50% water. On the wings I have just applied one layer of covering because that's all we need. One of the best properties of this paper is that when you spray water over it and let it dry, the paper will shrink, making a great finish. And then we can use Easy Dope, which is an additive that will make the paper stronger, waterproof and even fuel proof. But you can skip that if you don't have Easy Dope. So I started to spray some water over the surfaces, but the recommendation is that you spray water over one wing at a time and let it dry with weight on it because then when it dries, it will warp the shape of the wing. So just let it dry one at a time. I took the risk and sprayed water over both at the same time, but I can make corrections with the heat gun later. And this is the wing already dry. There is a little bit of warping, something that I can fix with heat gun. And now it's time to glue everything together. And this was the first version, but the version from the plans that you will download is the definitive version. Now I'm done making the airplane. As you can see, I put some weight on the nose and now I'm gonna start balancing it. Finding the correct center of gravity is critical to make an airplane fly very well. There are many videos on YouTube explaining how the center of gravity should be balanced on airplanes. So basically, if you try to balance the airplane like this with these two sticks or maybe using your fingers, the point of balance should be at 30% from the leading edge of the wings. And now our glider slash airplane, it's ready. For now it's just a glider that will fly launching it with our hands. It's so small that it's perfect for flying indoors, in our house. I love how this airplane flies. It flies very smooth and slow. I'm wondering how much it weighs, so let's see about 5 grams. That's impressive, even less than some servos. But if you work the fuselage a little bit and reduce the weight, we can achieve even less weight. But what about flying it outdoors? I tried it and it wasn't that good, because this airplane flies very slow and is so light that any subtle breeze will overwhelm this glider. So to improve its flying characteristics, I had to add more weight. A little counterintuitive, but that's how it works. And now it's time to make the self-propulsion system which is just a rubber motor, including the propeller. So I think this is the first time I'm going to make a propeller out of balsa wood, but I'm going to try and see how it goes. So I'm going to leave you with the images of making the propeller and then I'm going to explain the rest of the process.
I'm going to use this micro nylon servo arm to make the thing that I don't know the name of that will be in contact with the main shaft of the propeller. In the shaft of the propeller I put a C8 drop of glue and I let it dry to a conic or a spheric shape so that the contact point will be the least possible for less resistant on the rotation. I clearly don't have any experience on making rubber power free flight airplanes. This is actually the first or the second time that I'm doing one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a rubber powered airplane. There it goes. Hoo -hoo! Depending on how much power you want, you can use three rubber bands or six rubber bands, or also depending on how long your rubber bands are. It should be powerful enough that it should take off by itself. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe if you really love flying model airplanes. I make them a lot in this channel. Soon I'll be making a proper free fly model airplane, which is going to be bigger and better. For now I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next project.